You will find all kinds of great desserts on Effie Sahihi's blog, The Laws of Baking. Today's treat tastes like candy canes and they're lighter than air. Effie's going to show us how to make these beautiful peppermint meringue cookies. Those look good, look pretty. You say it's easy to do, but first up, I got to say a quick thanks. Christmas has come early here to talk of the town. Effie brought aprons, and actually she made these for us. So brand new aprons and everything, so we appreciate that Absolutely. very much. My pleasure. All right, if you will get us started on this, you've already made the meringue process as a part of yes. this. Yes, I know when people hear meringues, they freak out a little bit yes, because, <laughs> because they're a little bit finicky, but um, I have step-by-step, step, they're so easy. The main thing is technique. Okay. So what you want to do is keep everything at room temperature for egg whites no fat so if you break an egg in there you got to start over if you see wow. any bit of yellow you're uh -huh. gonna have to start over no plastic bowls okay plastic retains fat and so you're gonna go through all of this trouble making it the moment you have a little fat it's going to deflate and it's not gonna be pretty so um, steel or really clean glass bowls okay um, add your egg whites a little bit of a cream of tartar which is an acidic salt it gives it volume it gives it stability okay pinch of salt yeah and, and we made it. this a little early so because it's a longer process to do that but you've already made it and that's part of what it looks that's like it. when everything you is whip it up, and that's a stiff peak meaning it holds its peak uh -huh. and you can see the little peak here okay um very easy put everything add a little bit of sugar you're good to go all right so how do we get to this process this is so fun and it's so easy to do so you have a paintbrush here a food safe paintbrush uh -huh. and all you're going to do is take your food coloring take the bag and just paint stripes. And so it's as simple as that. I put it in a glass because it's so much easier to do it that way okay. and to also fill it. All righty. So and you're hold yours up right there. Okay. And that's what I am attempting to do. <laughs> <laughs> and because of that, and you can kind of see the yeah. stripes on this, and it's those stripes that make the uh, the stripes the that we're going to see on the this. Peppermint. So it's so easy. You could put any uh, any tip you have. Don't worry about it. You can use anything you want. I've got three different tips here. We've made little stars. We've made little mints. We've made candy canes. You tint it with a little bit of green, and then you can make Christmas trees. Put a little star on top. You are good to go. The mint gives it a wonderful flavor. I only use it. Uh, eighth of a teaspoon. Okay. I like a hint of mint. Yeah. Some people like it stronger, but be careful. It's just, super just, powerful. Just a hint. Yes. And so this is what I like. <laughs> now you can see the different ones here. And actually, uh, you were talking about the candy canes. I'm going to hold yeah. that up there sure. just a little bit. But that's what the candy canes look like. So you've got this process here, and you can actually do quite a few different things with it. Absolutely. And the most important thing is baking. Mm -hmm. um, slow and slow and no peaking. The moment you open your oven, you're going to get a deflated mess. 200 degrees, 90 minutes, when it's done, turn it off, crack open the oven, let it cool completely, and you have the most beautiful meringues. Make them ahead, up to three days, store them in an airtight container, mm -hmm. decorate your gingerbread house, give it as gift, put chocolate in between, and make little chocolate meringue peppermint sandwiches. Oh, it's now you were telling me something earlier. Do I need to, these need to become completely dry? Yes, so that's why it's 200 degrees. Uh -huh. So you're basically slow, low cooking in a dry heat. Today's weather, not good for meringues because okay. all the humidity Humidity is going to make them weep. I actually, listening to your uh, weather cast, <laughs> I made these three days ahead, sealed them up, um, but keep them in the oven 200 degrees, do not open the door, and you will have the most beautiful meringues, any shapes, any sizes, any flavors. Okay. There you go. That's beautiful. What do you we call that a teardrop? I yes. don't know that I'd call it a star. That's or okay. Like if you that. push down, let's push down, lift it up. All there right. you go. More great tips on your blog? Yes, lawsofbaking.com. I've got step-by-step -step instructions. All right, fantastic. This is recipe number 5465. You'll find it in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com. As always, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. And thank you again for our very beautiful April. <laughs> thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too.